Hey, what's up guys? Jeff Orig with Orig Media and today I'm going to show you something that I've been trying to get to work in Compressor for a super long time for many years in previous versions and we've got it to work once in previous versions and now I just kind of gave up on it before but now I just sort of stumbled upon it again and thought I'd give it a try and was testing it just a few minutes ago and it seems to be working with some caveats. And what this is, is basically distributed farm, uh, distributed processing across multiple machines. So what that means is you can essentially create a render farm if you have more than one Mac that has compressor installed. And because Apple has sort of changed the way um, they're selling compressor, it's 50 bucks, and you can basically install that on as many computers as you own, as far as I can tell. Um, so you can then create a pretty healthy sized render farm. So enough of the sort of the, the precursor, um, just here I'll show you how to do it. It is so simple compared to the way it was before. Um, so compressor is open. And I'll go full screen here just so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Um, and then in preferences, just open that up. And I've already set it up, but it's just so simple. I'm just going to delete this and set up a new one for you. So um, first, what you'll need to do is on all of your computers, go to this My Computer button here and change this to on and it's just that simple you change it to on on all of your computers and then you go next you go into the shared computers and right now the only computer that's set up to render on this particular machine that I'm sitting on is just this computer so this is normal default mode but what we want to do we want to create that render farm so what you're gonna do is click this plus sign over here and you can click on this and I've turned on sharing on all of these computers and all I have to do now is just check all of these and then in this group right now it's called untitled in this group all of these computers will be available for sharing processing so I'm just gonna call this all and that's pretty much it so then you will do, you know, you'll just kind of add the files how you normally would. So let's go to here. And I'm just going to add some files. And we'll just do like an H.264. I'm just going to render it out to the desktop just for simplicity. And if we want, we can we can add more files. Just sort of the regular way you would do it. Let's add a few of these. Just to kind of get a sense of it. And 1080 to the desktop. Click OK. And we'll do it to this one as well. By the way, the footage that you're seeing is part of a uh, pilot that we shot called America's Got Something, so you might want to be on the lookout for that. Now, this is all still the normal setup, but if you look down here in the lower right corner, we now have, it says process on this computer, which is default, but then we can change it to all. Remember I changed that uh, the group of the computers to all? So we can change that there. And then once I hit start batch, send it to the active, and then now if I twirl these down, you can start you can see that it's created instances. Oops, my Google Drive is going here. Um, it's created instances on these other camera uh all other computers. So what it's done, just so you know is it's broken up the video into smaller pieces sent it to the other machines and those other machines are rendering uh, their piece of it and then once this is all done 
each when each machine is done, then it'll um, bring it back to this machine and reassemble it into the one file. So it'll then just go through all of these here. Um, but as you can see, it's processing on all these other computers. And I guess there's like other pieces that aren't being processed yet, but they're in line to be processed. Now, one thing I discovered in experimenting with this is this works perfectly fine if your rendering files that are already rendered, like they exist as video files on your computer. What I experimented with is if you've ever used Final Cut 10 and there's the send to compressor feature, when I've been experimenting with this, I can't get that file to render across all the machines. Um, so if you know of a trick to get that to work, that'd be super awesome. But and what, here I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. So let's say we want to export this out. I can say send to compressor. But in this case, all is grayed out. So um, if you know of a way to work around that, or if this if it's in a newer version, let me know. Because right now we're on an older version of Final Cut 10. We're on 10.1.3, and I think right now we're at 10.1.4. So, um, yeah. Anyway, hope that helps, guys. And I, you know, for some jobs this is going to be pretty awesome. So. It is that easy, and I hope you enjoyed that one. If you've ever tried this before, you know the pain, you know how hard it was, and this is just mind-blowingly easy. So with that, um, I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Um, we're also on Twitter at OrgMedia, and definitely check out our website, www.orgmedia.com, and aloha.